Hey Legionnaires and welcome back to another Three Kingdoms multiplayer battle with me and Scrim. Scrim and I did this battle a while ago now and it was a very very epic battle in uh, just the size of the armies and like the, just the action that went on and like the explosions and the cavalry charges and the infantry uh, like surrounding and all sorts, all sorts went on and it was an amazing battle and I thought I'd show it off with you guys. So uh, we'll quickly go over, oh, not, did not want that. Um, we'll quickly go over some of the, like, what the armies look like quickly. We have a huge army over here, um, made up of all sorts. We have loads of bringers of righteousness, heavy spear guards, watchers of the peace, Onyx, Dragons, loads and loads of really elite high tier units. These are very high value armies on both sides. And we've got another... Um, well, the armies are sort of mixed, I think. I think they're quite mixed. They've decided to put all their cavalry out here. So they've got lots of mounted Lancer, Militia, which is similar to mine. They've got the J Dragons, which look amazing. And they've got uh, Horse Archers over here, which are really, really elite looking as well. So, uh, so yeah, we'll get on with the battle, and we'll uh, start it off. And the cavalry are instantly off in a direction, along with uh, one of the generals, who I'm not quite sure which one this, this is. Let's see. Oh, it's uh, Zaoyun. Definitely pronounced that wrong, probably, as well. But my uh, Scrim's army on the left here, quickly off uh, on the march. He's got a lot of trebuchet, as you can see there. He's got lots and lots of infantry here. Uh, along with crossbows mixed in and he's got lots of heavy spear guard up here getting ready into position in there or awesome. that's like a really cool shield wall formation I like that it's very cool and then he's got uh, one of the generals here I think this is Zhu Chu or something like that I'm definitely butchering these names and I do not play enough three kingdoms to remember the names and we've got more generals here let's see what are the generals called people will be having a go at me if I don't get them right Sunren um, and then we've got uh, Zhao Yu uh, Zun Liang. I'm not sure that's right. And Zhang Liao. So anyway, we were worried. We were worried that the armies were going to. Uh, they had vanguard units. We were worried they were going to surprise us with the rear attacks. So Grim had all his cavalry scattered around the back, scouting out quickly. But he decided that uh, there was no threat in the back, so he is now bringing his cavalry forward. See those ones off in the distance over there. That's a beautiful looking shot there with the nice trees there. It's looking good. More cavalry coming into view there. Lots of cavalry just dotted around here. I decided to put all my army here on the left. And I have an elite uh, core, you could say, rushing for this hill. There's um, a lot of defenders of the uh, defenders of heaven and uh, spear guard going in here. They look amazing. Just look at them charging up. Get a rear view of that. That looks amazing. And then the cavalry off in the distance there. Not having anything. They're not liking uh, me bringing my infantry up. And the trebuchet is claiming the first kills of the day. Excellent scrim. Excellent, excellent firing. Burnt to a crisp. These two just died probably from the uh, the explosion. Is that, a, is that a horse's... No, I thought that was a horse's tongue out. I was like, the horse has got its tongue out. That's just hilarious. You can see the generals off there in the distance. They're lit up for some reason. That's interesting. And then there's another kill here. Another one burnt to a crisp. Rip in peace. I don't know what I'll call you. I'll call you Jeff. Very Chinese name. Your words are as pathetic as you are. Okay, okay, ladies, just calm down. We don't need any of your any of your words of wisdom. So anyway, I think um, there is very little that goes on to start with. I'll quickly show you off uh, my my army as well. Um, I have a lot of like uh, Jin sword guards. Wait, uh, yeah, Jian sword guards. Yep, that's probably right. Um, white wave veterans, uh, more sword guards. Jeez, I brought a lot of sword guards. Um, yellow dragons, a lot of them. Um, so this is like the bulk of my infantry here. This is like what's going to really make the difference. I, I've got this core up here that's doing going to be defending the hill to start with and making sure they can't get it. We have a G militia along with lots of lance cavalry um, with defenders of the earth and crossbows. Basically just to deter the cavalry over here that I got told by Scrim that 
their horse archers actually have a better range than my archers, which is insane, to be honest. But yeah, that is the main that's the main basis of my army. I have like Sao Sao, uh, Tao Kien, Su Chu. Uh, I definitely pronounced that wrong. Zhang Fei and He Yi and Sun Jin, all the way over here. So we are ready and set, basically, for the battle. But the enemy don't look like they're pushing forward. So um, I will make a cut for you guys until we uh, we have some action. So uh, I will see you guys in a moment. Hi guys and welcome back. We are now got some action. Scrim has got his trebuchets in position and is raining fire down on these guys, literally. Um, but yeah, you can see the formations here of um, of the enemy. They've got a lot of spear guard in various formations. This is what we've got to go through if we want to win this. And Scrim, you can see here, has done some damage to some of the formations. He's killed quite a few. Um, they're nicely bunching up for him, but they are harder to hit because of their smaller like formations. But if he gets a hit, it's a good one. And we've got more shield walls over here. Look at these protectors of heaven in like this formation. This looks excellent. There's like got their archers out in the back, but they've got like guys in front in spears. I've been waiting for some like formation like this for ages. So it allows like half the units to just keep firing while the other half engages in combat. It's really, really cool. I like that. And then there's these guys that uh, were in uh, the similar sort of formation, but they seem like they're changing to a, a loose formation, which is good for. Uh, Catapult uh, for trebuchets that are coming in. It's going to be good. Harder to hit them now and do a lot of damage. More protectors of heaven in that formation. We've just seen in a slightly different one here, more narrow one. So there's a smaller amount now in the uh, with the spears out, but a lot more with their archers out. So that's going to be really helpful for them. Again, similar sort of formation over here. It's just they've gone really like they're showing off all the awesome formations that this uh, this game has to offer. Really. There's just, it's just insane. I'm just, look at these guys. So elite. Um, but we are getting ever so, ever closer now. And you can see even more fire is raining down on these guys. And, oh god, that was a good hit. That was a good hit. Poor guy there, burning up. Oh no. Um, that's, that's, that is the worst way to go, I think. Fire. Oh, and these guys are breaking. Wow, these guys broke. Due to the fire. They couldn't stand it. Even though they're elite, these reclaimers are, are running. They're cowards. But yeah, let's have a look at the rest. They've got a lot of archers over here. Lots of crossbows. And lots of... Um, I'm not quite sure what these are. We've got all sorts. Ye marksmen here. We've got all sorts just, just filled in here. This is going to be a prime target for our cavalry. Unfortunately, our cavalry is occupied elsewhere. We have had some uh, a bit of skirmishing going on over here. The, uh, or about to. Oh, no. No, no, no. That was the trebuchet. I thought we'd had some skirmishing going on. But the uh, cavalry here. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. The skirmishing going on here. They've, um, opening fire on these cavalry that are trying to get past our flank. We're kind of letting them because I'm kind of happy for them to, uh, divide their forces and keep their cavalry over there. It means that we can, um, attack their archers and they've got no one to protect them. Though we're going to have to use our cavalry probably to, uh, deter theirs. But yeah, this cavalry unit here, especially, getting absolutely pel pelted. God, they are nearly gone. That, they can't last much longer. Oh, and there they go. They're, they're breaking. They've broken. I tell my archers to hold their fire. Well done, crossbows. You've done your job. Now you need to uh, get ready and save your ammo because there's a lot more of them. Look at all these cavalry over here just getting ready and in position. And they've already got their horse archers well behind us now. I think... I think me and Scrim decided that they were going for their, our um, trebuchet. So Scrim got all his cavalry hidden, hidden in the woods here, ready for uh, for an ambush. And he's got one of his generals here, ready and get ready to go. The they look excellent. <laughs> they look, and then the uh, trebuchet still using the last of their ammo up and taking these guys out. But the infantry have clashed. Here we go. Come on, boys. Charge. Oh, that is nasty. Spear, uh, sword militia for Scrim going straight in to, like, deal with these, uh, these Jin guards. No, not Jin guards. Oh, what are these? Spear guards. 
Um, so these spear guards possibly will deal with uh, the sword militia quite quickly because they are a lower tier unit dealing, a, trying to break down the guards. But who knows? But as you can see here, look at that. There's the uh, um, formation in use. Archers firing behind, but the spears being used to hold them off. Very, very handy. Though it doesn't look like they're firing at the moment. Are we going to get a volley? Maybe not. No, it looks like we're not going to get a volley. Oh, that's a shame. But they are breaking through. They're going to... Some guys are now having to put down their arrows. Oh, there you go. Volley goes off. And now they're having to go in and fight themselves. Excellent. Oh, and the enemy are running, apparently. My army is now also going into the fray. We're now clashing. Oh, that's a good hit. Some good hits here on the Protector of Heaven. And now my spear guard are going in to attack them. And uh, they're no longer able to fire, really. Oh, and there's some good shots coming in the back there. I think I have a unit. Yeah, these guys here. Pretty sure these guys are similar to... Oh, it's getting laggy. Bringers of Righteousness. Yeah, these are fairly good. Sorry it's getting a bit laggy, guys. It's uh, just all the units now are starting to cut fight. There's a lot of units on the battlefield. And there you go. More fire going off. These guys in the back trying to shoot before they uh, have to go into combat. And we're just trying to break through this small line of infantry um, to get to all, the, the, all those archers. Because otherwise, they're going to be do, able to do a lot of damage on mine and Scrim's armies. And you can see here, at the oh my gosh, the forest is on fire. That's probably not helping the frames. Um, but we are now slowly breaking through, but not quick enough. But it looks amazing. He Yi in here trying to do some damage. He's getting very laggy. I'm sorry about that, guys. But Scrim is doing a lot of damage. This unit here just being pelted with our arrows. And this whole flank just not even being used upon. He needs to... the. Uh, player here needs to bring those units across and get them into the center because look at this scrim is well and truly in he is broken in and is in in amongst the archers here he oh no he was uh not scrims it was uh enemies but he's broken sun ren has broken him and i am uh look at it this uh flank over here by my myself we now have some mercenary infantry and white wave veterans getting pelted by arrows but that's not going to last for long because we're now going to charge in we're going to do some damage to these archers that are uh, finally going to be silenced. Which is fi uh, excellent, excellent news for us. Looks like they're firing some last arrows off. They look almost like grenade, like fire bombs. They possibly are, I'm not sure. But yeah, there we go. Look at the, the mass running like of these archers. They're not breaking, they're just running away because they're in um, skirmish formation. So they are just running away from any infantry that can hear them. But we are breaking through this line and there broken through. These guys, confident, they're actually carrying on through. I left these guys, these protectors of heaven, just to like, to be dealt with with other troops. I still have plenty of reserves back there, as does Scrim. Scrim probably has more. I committed a lot more on my forces to try and just break through and punch through. And But we are here just very, very well. The cavalry at this point, I'll have a look for you, has also, oh, come on, guys. Come on, has also engaged. We uh, are quite in the later stages. I'm sorry, but the infantry was very interesting. The cavalry here has um, overpowered ours and uh, and our generals. Sun Jin is having to do a lot of damage and is uh, Zhang Liao um, in just trying to harass them. My arch is also uh, harassing as much as possible. I'm trying to get the G Militia, the Light Halberd Infantry. They'll be very handy against cavalry in there. And uh, Scrim's, well, Scrim's got no ammunition left on his trebuchets. He's just keeping his crews there just to... Uh, basically occupy the cavalry so we can get everyone in, in closer but look at this here come the cavalry into the back of these guys oh poor them that is just unfortunate and they are uh, they're nearly all dead to be honest that is just insane here they come you can see through the like the, the heat coming off the uh, trebuchets is insane then those jay dragons have uh, have just annihilated all them but i should be bringing in here they come the g militia the worst spears in the game are coming to save the day. Oh, and the Protectors of Heaven firing off some good shots there, actually. And crossbows as well, also firing some good shots at the cavalry, just damaging them and annoying them. And now they come for our infantry. The enemy unit flees. Lots of units fleeing now by the sounds of it. Oh, that's not good on my spears. Initial charge, not great, but now we're charging in and we should be able to get in amongst the cavalry and do some damage. Though it looks like just this first unit here especially has been overwhelmed. Look at them, poor guys in there. Just getting absolutely annihilated. 
those jade dragons are just carrying on and look they're going into the back into my arches but these uh, protectors of earth are really good in combat so they'll be able to hold their own they'll be able to just kill off quite a few of the cavalry I imagine but they're just the cavalry look like they're trying to just push through and just try and get out of this like they've realised the trap they're in and uh, they're trying to get out but I don't think that's going to happen and uh, my cavalry has returned and is running down some horse archers but there's a lot of generals in here. They've committed a lot of generals to uh, this flanking maneuver. And it's uh, probably damaged their chances over here. Because look at this. It's uh, just carnage. And Scrim now is ready to protect against any cavalry attack. We've now changed the sides of the battlefield almost. And we now defend this side. And the, uh, the spear guard looking very fresh. Standing on top of all the dead of those that they killed uh, are ready to go basically. And we've got lots of swords and the archers here. Look at the amount of archers that we have ready here. This is insane, to be honest. All those crossbows, just probably with fairly good ammo. Yep, yeah, they've got full ammo, if all, almost, and they're just going to be ready. And then we're just running off all the infantry over here. Loads of, in loads of infantry just uh, running away. All these archers as well, just unloading. Look at that. Heavy repeating crossbows just firing constantly. That is ridiculous. It's like machine gun fire. But it's no matter to my men. We'll keep chasing them down. I'm using my generals also to try and chase them down. Um, Zhang, La La Zhang, Zhang Fei needs to uh, really move and come elsewhere. I've got uh, infantry that should get moved up to help Scrim in his uh, defense. I've also got generals here that haven't even been used yet. But I mean, we didn't really use too many of the abilities because uh, we had quite a few of them uh, disabled. But look at this. Fire going on in here. It's now illuminated the battle, which is still going on in the forest. It, my infantry looks like it's getting shredded, though. They, uh, the quality is just not quite there. But over here, I don't know, over here there's still quite a lot of them. They're able to bring down quite a few of these guys. But these jade dragons can take a lot of hits. At least, uh, yeah, jade dragons. I keep... I keep getting worried that I'm naming them the wrong thing, but they uh, they can take a lot of hits by the looks of it, and they're, uh, this guy here, come on, he's been stabbed about eight, nine times in this in, in the time we watched him, and now he's finally dead. Excellent. More have appeared though, Zhang, Fe, uh, Zhang there's Zhang Fei has arrived, and he's ready to, uh, to kill people. And more generals have turned up as well. It's looking, uh, it's looking dangerous. Look at them, they're not even, the Jade Dragons just pushing us through, they're not even really like caring. I mean, some of them are dying for their insolence to my weak men. Just got, all they've got is just some light, like a cloth on and a bit of armor. It's barely, barely even armor really. Oh, another general comes flying in. Can you just go away? Leave my guys alone. You can kill like hundreds of my men before we even kill you. And more arrows like coming in, just damaging them. These uh, crossbows back here, I think they're on, uh, well, they, their crossbows are firing normally, but I think these guys are firing, yeah, they're the ones firing the uh, fire arrows, and they've uh, they've cleared these guys out, almost. But yeah, the ca cavalry all gone, apart from, actually, no, they're all over here, the jade dragons. They're all over here dealing with um, some archers of mine, my defenders of earth, which still haven't broken, and just have now. As just as I speak, they break. Break or dead? I actually think they might all have died. Yeah, I think all all died or broke. Wow. They they last long, but um, yeah, it's looking pretty much like Scrim and I have have taken the day. The uh, infantry is all gone over here, and Scrim's now just uh, playing with the formations. He's that's how that's how much he respects the enemy. He is just playing with them. But we won, just like that, a close victory, and uh. The carnage on the uh, battlefield shows the amount of men lost. Certainly more for them than for us. But we'll have a quick look at the end scores and see what... Uh, see who did the best, really. So, um, to my forces, um, Zhu Chu... We both had Zhu Chu's as our first generals. Um, did very, very well. 125, that's pr very good. Sao Sao getting one kill. Classic Sao Sao state. Uh, being a coward till the end. Um... Yellow Dragon's doing very, very well with, like, all plus 100 kills there. My uh, Jin uh, Sword Guard's not doing the greatest. Some of them doing okay. This one here, not doing that great. My Cavalry broke and did awful. I need to really, like, level them up more. 
Uh, my protectors at home doing very well. Spear guard doing very well. For being spears, they've got some good kills. Um, this axe unit did excellent. These two not so well. Um, protectors of the earth didn't get that many kills. And for their worth, um, weren't really... Well, weren't, weren't really worth it, really. Uh, my, some of my Jin militia doing very well on uh, kills. And the archers doing okay. And these uh, white... I can't remember, these sword units on here doing very well as well, I can't remember what they're called, and these spears, one of them did well, one of them didn't even get, well, didn't even join the battle, that's how, didn't even get used, and this, uh, like, archer spear unit, uh, doing very well as well, and, uh, getting six, six kills, that's very good, um, unfortunately can't seem to be able to look at the other, u other team's, uh, units, but, I mean, this, this player, uh, Gong, uh, the play playing as Gong Du, uh, did very well, and if you want to look at more of them, then you're more than welcome to. I mean, look, if you can see the comparison, I'll, what I was going to go over, really, instead of really going through all the guys, is uh, look at the comparison and leveling up. Me and Scrim leveled our guys up so much, like level 10, level 9, um, and they're all level 1. So they spend a lot of money on their good units, but we spend a lot more money on upgrading our men and generals. And that guys is what matters in the end but if you guys have enjoyed then please leave a like and uh subscribe for more three kingdoms content and until next time legionnaires bye